hello all today in this video i'm going to show an uh, demo for support vector machine in python already in this video we have made the support vector machine implementation but we have not plot the uh, visualization of the classifications which we have done so in this code we are just making that visualizations so first of all as we do if in every time we have to import the libraries and the libraries which is used in this code includes the numpy then matlab matplotlib and then sklearn in then sklearn we are going to import the svm and data set so this is the first that is importing of libraries and then we have to load the data set the data set we are just using the iris data set from the svm uh, sk learn library and from that we are just determining the x value and the y value so in x value we are just making the data to display from the second location and the target variable y we are just giving that target variable so here we are setting a regularization parameter for SVM and that parameter we have tuned as 1.0. This regularization parameter is called in the SVM code that is while uh, training the model. You can see the C which we have called over here 1.0 is nothing but 1. Uh, so the kernel is also linear since we are using the linear kernel we are I, I have just mentioned linear if you want some other kernel like poly sigma etc means just change this name and I'm then fitting the x variable and the y variable in the code and just we can run the code you can just uh, see then to plot uh, to visualize the variables in the data set we are just using the plot function uh, so for that we are just uh, creating variables like x min x max and y min and y max x min and x max is determined from the x variable and y min and y max is determined by, uh, from the x variable and the equation for that you can just see in this line so we are then determining a mesh grid and then plotting those variables and then we are just determining the predict function and we are just plotting in a contour by using a scattered plot in which the x label is sepal width and sepal length and y label is sepal width so just you can see the linear kernel So you can see uh, there is not 100% accuracy if you see means the plot in the plot the every variables are, variables are scattered so this work is not providing 100% accuracy uh, so we can just check with some other code in the next video thank you.